Hi guys, it's time to uh, finalize the Christmas brew for 2017. So let's watch the brew footage and then we'll come back and sample the beer and have a look at the recipe. Okay, let's run through the grain bill here. We have 4.7 kilograms of pale ale malt, uh, 500 grams of uh, crystal 150. I haven't changed the grain bill from last year except uh, last year I used crystal 100 and I didn't have that at home. I had crystal 150 so I'm going with that. Gonna give a little, might give a little bit dark color but I'm fine with that. Uh, so, hmm. Just got an idea. Uh, okay, let's talk. Uh, let's run through the rest of the grains first. And we have 300 grams of biscuit malt, 300 grams of melodium malt, and 200 grams of carapils. And uh, there are also 100 grams of uh, chocolate malt going in, uh, but as uh, usual, I'm adding that later on. And uh, now I'm thinking uh, I also have a pale chocolate, so maybe I should uh, use that instead of uh, the normal chocolate malt to balance up the extra color from uh, the Crystal 150. So that's an idea, I have to think about that. Um, and I also think that uh, the pale chocolate malt are like, more chocolatey in flavor. So. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see which I want to add. Okay, let's get this crushed because it's starting to uh, rain a bit. That ain't really a problem. Okay, let's go. I'm crushing the grip. Okay. Grain porn. I'm gonna start by adding a, a cap of lactic acid, then we're gonna measure it where that takes us. Let's start with that. Okay, my smallest spoon at home. Let's add some grains. But before that, let's lower the temperature uh, no not lower but let's set the temperature gonna start this at 63 celsius so i heated up the water to uh, 70 because the grains will take it down a bit 500 watts under mashing usually does the trick for me okay Okay, the mash are thickening up. Ok, 
Okay, I will add in the rest and give it a good stir. Okay, the circulation are hooked up and uh, we have started circulating the mash. I've uh, cooled down the wort a bit, it's about 30 degrees Celsius, I think. Uh, this should calibrate itself uh, for the temperature, but uh, I don't want it too hot. 5.5 See if it changes anything more. Okay, so we're at 5.5 at 26.4 degrees. Uh, that's not too bad. Let's add a little bit more lactic acid and see what it what happens. Okay, let's add another cap. Let's be a little bit extreme this time. I'm not actually that worried. I made uh, good beers before I've uh, even knew what how pH affected beers. So let's take another pH reading. Five point three. Awesome. Around twenty four degrees. Okay. Okay, it's time to do a mash out. So I will set the temp to, uh, yeah, to 80 and uh, I will set uh, the wattage for 700 watts and it will take the temperature up slow and uh, we're aiming for temperature about 75 so I will measure the temperature in the mash and when we hit about 75 there we will lower the temp to 75 on the heater as well, okay? Okay, we're at mash out. Um, I decided to use the pale chocolate malt. I uh, have grinded up 125 grams of it with my coffee grinder to a fine powder. And uh, I'm gonna steep this for 20 minutes as we're doing the mash out. Yes. Gonna stir it on top. I got a question about this. You're not stirring up the whole mash, you're just placing it on top. It's why it's called uh, top mashing. It's time to raise up the grains and, and start sparging. Okay, the sparge water is 78C and I have adjusted the pH to 6. So, let's start sparging. We're gonna sparge up to uh, 28 liters. Okay, it's time to taste uh, the starter. This is WLP002, British uh, or English alias. Uh, this is actually the starter from uh, the starter video I made. If you haven't watched that, I will put a link to that one below. That's uh, 22 and a half minutes about making a starter, but uh, 
there's still a lot on the matter that could be said so watch watch that video out if you haven't seen it already uh, okay it smells okay and it tastes fine so cheers guys and remember always taste the starters Let's take a pre-boiled gravity reading. Um, someday will be the day rusty, but uh, not today. That's some inside joke there. Okay, let me have a look first. That's 1057, and that's exactly where it should be. According to my calculations, Beersmith said 1057 and we're at 1057. Okay, so, so far so good. It's pitch black outside now, so we're gonna do a rundown because I don't know if I can get any good footage. At 60 minutes, we're gonna add 15 grams of uh, magnum. At 30 minutes, we're gonna add uh, 20 grams, I think. No. At 30 minutes, we're gonna add 25 grams of pearl. Uh, at 80 minutes, we're gonna add 20 grams of cascade, 20 grams of villamette. At 5 minutes, we're going to add 30 grams of uh, filament and uh, 20 grams of cascade. Uh, this, is 20, this is 250 grams of ginger going in at 15 minutes, so right in between there. And also at 5 minutes, we're going to add uh, that's 30 grams of pomerance peel. Uh, three sticks of cinnamon, 0 0.7 grams of nutmeg, and one gram of whole cardamom seed, and uh, five cloves. Okay. Okay, the OG is ten sixty one, ten sixty two. Okay, we're transferring now using the pump. I know a shield down to seventeen degrees Celsius. Sorry about the bad light, but uh, this is the way where I live. It's dark this season. Okay. Okay, giving it a one minute blast with oxygen. Can't the G starter going in? One, two, three. Okay. The beer is in. I pressurize this uh, just over one bar. I'm gonna let pressure out. Plan is to dial this. To one bar. Somewhere there. Okay. Uh, actually, don't know how well to trust this. I 
think it's a little bit more than one bar in this one. But okay, it's no real issues. Um, I usually start uh, with seven degrees Celsius, but as you're supposed to be able to ferment at higher temperature. I'm gonna start this at 19. I know it's not crazy, but I still want to make good beer. So 19. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hook up the probe to the side and insulate it. Okay, next morning, let's see if anything has happened. Yes, it has. We have Krausen formed. A little bit of pressure. Feels really pressurized. Some tube there, here. Okay. 24 hours off the pitch. 19 degrees, we have a Krausen, nice looking, and can you see the activity, and this is quite nice with the see-through fermenter, even though I'm a bit afraid of uh, it getting light stuck, but I have no sunlight in this room, uh, so the pressure has gone up now to one just under one bar. Okay. Let's look at the job. Just some there. There's a lot of movement in there. Okay, two days off the pitch. And uh, we have some problem this time. There's, we have pressure and it's very firm, but there's a hissing sound. So it's for some reason somewhere leaking pressure. We have good activity, as you see. Now we see it. But there is a pressure leak somewhere. I'm gonna try to tighten this. That sold it. So there was a small leak there, which I didn't notice at start. But as you see, we have still hold the pressure and tightening helped that. But we have been fermenting under pressure from the start, so we're good there. And we're going strong at 19 degrees Celsius. Okay. There you have the brew day. Let's uh, look at the label. The name of the beer is Ginger Bells. And uh, this has an ABV of 5.7%. So let's get this into a glass. You have seen this beer before. This is uh, one of the beers I entered into the winter beer competition. If you haven't watched that video, I will put a link to that video down below. Okay, let's give it a pour. And uh, this beer was given out to my friends and family this year. I hope they enjoyed it. Of course they did. 
So, here you have the ginger bells. And this beer, if you haven't watched my beer from last year, the gingerbread man, this beer is an evolution from that recipe. I'm gonna go through the recipe, but the idea is uh, to uh, dial the ginger back a bit and the spices up. And the recipe haven't changed that much. Otherwise, quite a change in the amount of ginger since that, since that recipe. So it's a clear beer. As you can see, it's a nice amber color to it. It's an uh, off-white head. You can see the carbonation rising. It smells ginger, sweet ginger, gingerbread. Was like a doughness to it, faint. It's mostly ginger let's dive in as yeah, so a very clean profile from the fermentation it's peppery from the ginger um, gives you a little bit warming sensation from the ginger the heat on the back as well. And uh, of course, some of the spices there pushes into the gingerbread territory. This one came out very, very nice. Let's run through the recipe. I'm gonna let this heat up because uh, I know from uh, other times I have it, when it heats up, some other flavor comes out. When it's cold, it's mostly ginger. So, for molds, I used 4.7 kilos of pale ale. 500 grams of crystal 150, 300 grams of melodium malt, 200 grams of care pills, and 120 grams of chocolate malt, which were top mashed. I uh, was planning to do a 60 minute boil, but I have a major boil over, so I recalculated my hops edition and did a 40 minute boil instead. So at 40 minutes, we had 15 grams of magnum. At 30 minutes, we had 25 grams of pearl. At 80 minutes, we had 25 grams of cascade and 20 grams of villamette. Uh, at five minutes, we had 30 grams of villamette and 20 grams of cascade. Uh, at 50 minutes, I added 250 grams of uh, shaved ginger root also add 13 grams of pomeranz peel at five minutes three cinnamon sticks at five minutes three cloves at uh, five minutes and one gram of cardamom seed and 0.6 grams of nutmeg and i also added Yeast nutrient and protaflock. Um, this were fermented with the English ale yeast WLP002. So that's the recipe. I'm very pleased with this one. Um, how to improve on this one next year? Um, this turned out quite nice, but uh, there's 
still quite some heat there from the ginger even though I halved the amount from last year. And um, I up the spices a bit. Maybe I could up the spices just a tad more. Dial down the ginger just a little bit. And uh, otherwise it's, it's, I don't know. Do I want chocolate flavor in this one? Not sure. Maybe I could add some cacao nibs or something like that, but uh, it's a uh, quite, but it is a nice brew. And um, if I'm giving something away, like this is, like this one was intended to be a Christmas present, I want something with a little edge. So it is quite good as it is, but. Hey, I have another year to think about my next Christmas brew. Maybe not a year, but half a year at least. So there you had the Christmas beer from 2017. Thanks for watching, guys. Dr. Hans out.